what is going on? Welcome back. As always, I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe. If you haven't already done that, we're on the road to now 40,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. I remember just like yesterday that I was hitting 30,000. It's it's so crazy. So thank all you guys so much. And if you are new, hit subscribe right now and join the fam. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social media links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. So go follow me on all of those. And once again, I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video. Today we're officially on episode 15 of Paranormal America, traveling the 50 states of the United States, heading west to east and looking at all the crazy stuff that's happened in each state along the way, which currently brings us to Nebraska baby so that is right guys today we are talking about Nebraska and uh, before I get started I want to say if you guys are watching this right now please hit that um, that like button I really want to see this like button works um, YouTube system I don't know if you guys saw my little rant yesterday in yesterday's video in the comment section I hate it big capital letters I was like oh man Oh, screw you YouTube and I got so angry. I was so angry. Look at the number of likes compared to what I normally get Now this is YouTube system. It's been doing this for a week now, and it's really driving me insane It's taken away valuable views. It's taken away valuable likes which help my channel to grow um, It's not publishing my videos out there to every one of my subscribers. It's not doing it um, so you guys who are seeing the videos you're, you guys are like the only ones. Um, it could be worse, I guess, but still, it shouldn't happen. You know, it's so annoying. You put a lot of work into a video. You want your your viewers to watch it, and YouTube doesn't even publish it to the, the feed or anything like that. Um, and to make things worse, the like button doesn't work. You hit the like button. Um, I've tried liking people's videos lately. My like button doesn't work. I try liking my own videos. It doesn't work. Um, and I know a lot of you guys have been liking the videos. And it's not working so it really sucks it really blows uh but yeah that's enough of my rants just suck uh, hit that like button guys and let's see if it's actually showing up your likes i need to know um because this is getting ridiculous like i work hard so um yeah that's pretty much it for my rant let's move on to the video so it's time to jump right over to paranormal america to Paranormal America, and today we're talking about Hummel Park in Omaha, Nebraska. Hummel Park is a place of horrible, brutal history. Um, this goes back to, oh man, it goes back a long time, um, but more specifically the early 1900s. Now back in the early 1900s at Hummel Park, people, lynch mobs would go out there and they would take any African Americans they could find, they would mutilate them and hang them from the trees of this park. Now there was one tree that was frequently used to, to hang people from to the point where the tree was permanently bending over the roads. Now even earlier than that, this place was all Native American land. Now still to this day there are reports of people hearing Native American music playing in the distance behind the darkness of the trees. Now this place attracts a lot of Midwest paranormal investigators to this place. It is apparently one of the most haunted places in the whole of Nebraska. Visitors are always reporting seeing apparitions and seeing random mist that comes out of nowhere. There's also reports of people hearing crying and screaming coming from the darkness of the trees. Now Hummel Park is actually the home to something that people call the Morphing Stairs. The Morphing Stairs are kind of like that story I told you guys about about the story about Oregon. Um, and in this story, it's, it's like possibly 150, I don't know, I've never seen these stairs, I didn't count them. Uh, it looks to me about 150 steps. Um, and they just, they're just concrete steps that go way up. Now people say that, they call them the stairway to hell, otherwise known as the morphing stairs. Basically, if you count the steps going up, you will always, always get a different number when you count them coming back down. Apparently, the number coming down is always less than going up. Now people believe that this stairway is, it goes into some kind of different dimension, some kind of portal that takes you to hell. 
it's the stairway to hell. You go down steps, you're going to hell. When you get to either the bottom or the top of the steps, um, I forget which direction. There is uh, an old abandoned rundown shack which is covered in pentagrams and all kinds of demonic, satanic symbols. This place was believed to be a place where people actually went to perform animal sacrifices to the devil. Not only were satanic symbols discovered all over this place, but animal carcasses were also discovered. And on top of all of that, just to make it even scarier, there is still people being found there dead today. That's right, there are still murders going on at this park. It's still to this day, these days, not the past anymore, these days, people's bodies have been found there. So it's no shock that this place holds a lot of paranormal activity. It is a horrible place. It's never been a good place to go. Um, even way back in like during the native times, it was native land. And then the whole thing in like the 1900s with the black people being tortured and mutilated and hanged just for being black. The morphing stares, the sacrifices, the demonic worshiping of Satan, and then people murdering still to this day. What is this place? This place sounds like hell enough as it is. Now, are you guys from Nebraska? Let me know in the comment section if you are, and let me know for question of the day would you visit this park at night? Did you guys hear that little voice? <laughs> My voice broke. Um, where was I up to? Would you guys visit this park at night alone? Would you do it? That is question of the day. Let me know in the comment section your answers to that. Magic Age Ball! I'm trying to add some scary music without getting a copyright claim. Anyway, Magic Age Ball! If one of my 40,000 subscribers visited the Hummel Park in Omaha, Nebraska, would anything bad happen to at least one of them? You may rely on it. Oh, ho, ho. I, guys, don't go, because I don't want to lose a one of you. That means I'll have one less subscriber, and I can't have that. I can't have that. Now nah, I'm kidding with you guys. I don't want you guys to die. That would be sad. Don't go to the park, guys. And if you do go, Make sure we all go together, all 40,000 of us, we'll take the park. We'll own all the ghosts that there, live there. We'll be like, this is my park now. What you gonna do, huh? I don't know. What's wrong with me? And also you guys know I've started this thing called Rand's Fact of the Day where I like to poison your heads with powerful knowledge so that y'all don't have to go to school anymore. And today's Rand's Fact of the Day is did you know that it would take 11 Empire State Buildings on top of each other to measure the same length of the, as the Gulf of Mexico in its deepest point down. So like pile them on top of each other, Empire State Buildings, 11 of them, and then somehow duct tape them all together lower them down into the Gulf of Mexico into the deepest point and the top of the Empire State Building should just be touching the waterline. True story. True story. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below and let's see if we can go for 10 likes. Oh my god! 10 likes on this video because I would be very happy about that. And yeah. It shows me, shows me that you guys are here too and your like buttons are working because YouTube's just. So thank you guys so much. As always, I love you guys and remember the most important thing, chase your dreams.